If I become your assistant, Crozier won't be able to touch me anymore, yes? I'm aware of her extreme interest in me, but her planned modifications on my body are both ridiculous and unacceptable. They're an insult to a scientist, and I won't allow it even in my current form. Why would humanity grow horns and tails? This stage of biological evolution is past my parameters of understanding. I know tens of thousands of years have passed. Calcet has mentioned this countless times. Hmm. I will need a bit more time to formulate my deduction. Closure wanted me to sound like a 30-year-old rock band vocalist with a raspy voice. But my original body was already twice that age. At least that's what my final memories tell me. Let's stop here for today, Doctor. I have to go over to Calcet's office. She must be needlessly burning the midnight oil again. A soul driven by her sheer sense of mission to trudge on for tens of thousands of years. Just to stop what exactly? It would be better for her to get more sleep. Doctor, don't look at me the same way you do Castle 3 and the others. They are very cute. But my robot body is just like your hood. Merely a sort of costume. A style. I know who I am, and thus, you and I are more alike. I'm not arrogant, but I am angry at your ignorance and lack of self-awareness. Angry at your self-righteousness, all of you. Yes, I've lost all my knowledge, so you can take this anger as merely a result of my calculations. And a very clear result at that. My wife, daughter, and the rest of my people are eternally resting in those sarcophagi and will never wake up again. I've made many decisions, I'm well aware. But all I remember is that final dinner where everyone bid me farewell and prayed that the subsequent odyssey would go smoothly. Doctor, are you free? I hope you might take me out for a walk. Hello there. I am Friston. That's right, just Friston, not Friston 3 or whatever. I am not a replica, and very much less a reproduction of a replica. I hope you understand. This is valuable research material. I shall require a copy for myself. Doctor, which sector do you need me to take charge of? Am I to lead everyone and find a new direction? Very well. I won't let them down this time. Let's go. This is also a new journey. Danger detected. I will relay our combat strategies to Thermal X and Lancet 2. I am naturally capable of more than Thermal X and the others. I will shield them on the front line. As long as I'm still standing, no one will come to harm. I will not fall. Are you all staring at my expression doodle? Your behaviors have been recorded and archived. Where's your leader? I need to talk. What a disgrace. These ugly creatures. Doctor, your thinking routines and command style are very much distinct and different from the others. I guess some things never change. I still remember the duty I bear, but I must admit, I am no longer able to fulfill it, let alone execute it as well as you do. You have my respect, Doctor. An odyssey will always have nigh avoidable accidents, and a plan might always go wrong. They may be painful to accept, but what else can I do except accept them? If the worst possible outcome is turning into something like me, then there is nothing to be afraid of. Doctor, you should evacuate first and leave the rest to me. I would like to stack all of my borrowed ecological research materials over here. I trust there will be no issues with that. You should have observed my expression doodle. Currently, it's anger. I've taken a photo of you, Doctor. 
You want to see it? Sorry, I've already saved it to my archives. How do you do, Doctor? Arknights. <laughs>